yeah, the threat of violence, the threat of getting hurt, right? That has a powerful disciplining effect on people, right? The, the more dedicated and consistently went out in Jewish history. To make peace with Yasser Arafat, chairman of the Palestine Liberation Organization, gave rise to a new generation of Jewish terrorists, and they ultimately cost him his life. Israel was in large part founded by terrorism, right? The, the founders of the modern state of Israel committed terror against the occupying uh, British forces, and then they committed terror to drive Arabs out of Israel and try to get away with as much ethnic cleansing of the native Arabs as they could in the course of creating a Jewish state. How did, how did we get Pakistan and Bombay? These countries were created out of terror and civil war and mass violence. The disagreement over how to handle the occupied territories and their residents has bred a complex and sometimes opaque system of law enforcement. Yeah, why is it so complex and opaque? Because in different circumstances, there are different incentives operating. So frequently the West Bank Jewish Israeli settlers have been unpopular with their fellow Jewish Israelis, and that is going to have a different effect on the incentive system as opposed to when the rest of Jewish Israel is more preoccupied by other things, such as the October 7 Hamas attack and the threat of Hezbollah and the threat of Iranian rockets. At its heart are two separate and unequal systems of justice, one for Jews and another for Palestinians. Well, it, it doesn't make the point that these Palestinians on the West Bank are not Israeli citizens. Every nation state has a separate system of justice for citizens and non-citizens. There's absolutely nothing unique here with, with regard to Israel and non-citizen Palestinians. The West Bank is under the command of the IDF, which means that Palestinians are subject to a military law that gives the IDF and the Shin Bet considerable authority. They can so there was a, a modern Orthodox professor at Bar Alan, which is an Orthodox Jewish university in Tel Aviv, who said uh, there's only one way to effectively stop terrorism, and that is to violate the, the, the female members of the terrorist family. His mother, his sisters, his aunts, his nieces. That would stop terrorism. He, he didn't advocate this, right? He didn't support this. He didn't propose this. He was just making a matter-of-fact observation that uh, the, the threat of the violation of the female family members would be the strongest incentive to discourage people from committing acts of terror. Can hold suspects for extended periods without trial or access to either a lawyer or the evidence against them. They can wiretap, conduct secret surveillance, hack into databases, and gather intelligence on any Arab living in the occupied territory with few restrictions. Okay, let's have a look at the chat. The neologist says, it's the most guarded border in the world using high technology to render a tremendously rapid response time after the border is breached. And it's been extensively documented that when the towers were knocked down, right, when they took out key nodes, right, the border protection system completely fell apart, right? So everything has vulnerabilities, even a, a highly uh, complex system, right, is still going to have vulnerabilities. In fact, it'll often have more vulnerabilities than a less complex system. So. Israel tried to guard its border primarily with using fancy technology, and it didn't work out well. Most Jews are unwilling to admit to their own committing violence against others to benefit uh, Jews and Jewish groups. Yeah, most groups are blind to their own group's faults. Most individuals are blind to their own faults. Most people look at the world through a lens in which they and their group are the best, are the ultimate inner circle, that they have some transcendent role in the world. Right? The Japanese have long had a tradition that the sun rises first on Japan and then goes to the rest of the world. China believes that uh, they are the center of the earth. China means center of the earth. Right? Every group believes that it's specially chosen, and every group tends to minimize the bad things that it does, and every group is strongly incentivized by the nature of group identity to blame its problems on outgroups. Palestinians are subject to military, not civilian courts which are far more punitive when it comes to accusations of terrorism and less transparent to outside scrutiny. In a statement, the IDF said, the use of administrative detention measures is only carried out in situations where the security authorities have reliable and credible information 
indicating a real danger posed by the detainee to the region's security, and in the absence of other alternatives, to remove the risk. It declined to respond to multiple specific queries, in some cases saying, the events are too old to address. According to a senior Israeli defense official, since October 7th, some 7,000 settler reservists were called back by the IDF, put in uniform, armed and ordered to protect the settlements. They were given specific orders. Do not leave the settlements. Do not cover your faces. Do not initiate unauthorized roadblocks. But in reality, many of them have left the settlements in uniform, wearing masks, setting up roadblocks, and harassing Palestinians. All West Bank settlers are, in theory, subject to the same military law that applies to Palestinian residents. Yeah, guess what? Theory doesn't always perfectly translate into reality. A good TV show on these themes is Our Boys. It ran on HBO in 2019. And the series begins with the true life kidnapping and murder of three Israeli teenagers by Palestinian militants from Hamas. This then prompts a retaliation, which is the kidnapping and murder of a young Palestinian boy. Three Jews carry out the attack. And uh, so this series focuses on the murder of this one Palestinian boy. But the murder happened after the, the kidnapping and murder of three Israeli teenage teenagers by Hamas. But in practice, they are treated according to the civil law of the state of Israel which formally applies only to territory within the state's borders. All law is carried out by people who operate under all sorts of different incentives that, that vary from what the, the law actually commands. Right? Laws are carried out by subjective, flawed human beings. This means that Shin Bet might probe two similar acts of terrorism in the West Bank, one committed by Jewish settlers and one committed by Palestinians. And you... Oh my, do you mean to say that uh, Shin Bet is going to pay more attention to terror attacks carried out by the enemy as opposed to their own side carried out with the goal of driving out the enemy? Shocking. Shocking. Use wholly different investigative tools. In this system, even the question of what behavior is being investigated as an act of terror is different for Jews and Arabs. For a Palestinian, the simple admission of identifying with Hamas counts as an act of terrorism that permits Israeli authorities to use severe interrogation methods and long detention. So I grew up a Seventh-day Adventist Protestant Christian, which had a universalist outlook on morality. There, there was no conception that uh, we, we did not have the same moral obligations to our groups as we did to our in-group. And so in the culture in which I grew up, the Protestant culture, people didn't boast about the bad things that they did against outgroups or cheating on, on taxes. All right, so this is the universalist moral outlook, that there's one moral law that governs everyone. But almost everyone else in the world, aside from those people of Northern European heritage, have dual morality, right? There's one morality, how you treat members of your in-group, and then there is a much more relaxed morality for how you treat outsiders. So it, it was a shock for me to convert to from a culture that held by universalist morality to a culture that held by dual morality. Right? Judaism has different standards for how you treat Jews as opposed to how you treat non-Jews.